and happy Wednesday today. <laughs> That's right. Hmm. It is Wednesday. Yeah. And we missed the vibe again yesterday. Yeah. We were busy. Yeah. We I, had some stuff to deal with yeah. yesterday. Well, plus, I i don't know. I thought yesterday, it just felt like it was a Wednesday. <laughs> I was telling Melanie that yesterday morning. You but, thought yesterday was Wednesday? Yeah, I just, no, well, I was just telling her, I'm like, it just feels like it should be a Wednesday, not a Tuesday. But today it feels like a Wednesday. I guess I my week was just going by faster than I thought, so. <laughs> yes. The beasts. I gotta feed them. I'm sure you guys are wondering why they're in the garden. <laughs> well, Tearing it up no, is well, what they're doing. Well, Mora, Mora and Ghost, they keep running. <laughs> they keep running off, right? So Melanie's seen them way down, way down the road, like way down the road, way off our property. Ghost and Mora come jumping out of the forest. And so we got to keep them in a, in a cage isn't the right word. We got to keep them in an enclosure. Yeah, a fenced area. A fenced area. We can't let them just run around. So the only real fenced area we have right now for them to go to is the garden. Yeah. Now, mind you, they don't, I'm going to tell you this right now. They don't sleep out here. They're just in here during the day. Yeah. They, they get covered at night or if it's too cold, they come inside. Yep. But during the day, they're out here. I got to feed them. They have water. They have all this stuff and they're nice. So, but it's starting to get to be an issue. The dog's running around. I don't want them to get ran over. Um, they're going on the neighbor's property and around here. Um, if you really wanted to, right? If a stray animal, in a sense, comes on your property, you can take care of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that to happen, so we're gonna have to build something for them in the back somewhere. I don't know. Yeah. But this is what we have for now. Yeah, so we, I mean, we kind of discussed it yesterday for a little bit as far as like what we're gonna do and where we're gonna put it. So we kind of have a couple ideas. We just gotta start the work on it. That's why I said we gotta start the work on it. We don't have the material. Oop. Hi, Jaina. She will. Jaina. She will. It's so funny because Jaina is, she's like, what, nine, nine years old now? I would say. I'd say nine, yeah, she's nine. And she, <laughs> she bounces around here and has a good old time worse than the big dogs the younger dogs i know here i'm, a, I'm just gonna hand you these another because since they're in the garden okay okay I know, just... okay I know you guys are bummed out that you're in the garden i get it you can't go run out into the woods and do whatever you want well yeah. <laughs> maybe you won't get too many ticks ghosts <laughs> Okay, good. I thought he'd chew chew this one. I knew he was gonna do it. We forgot to pull the stuff up yesterday. Hey. I know, I just kinda, ugh. Well, that's why I'm doing it right now for you. Right. There. Go completely took all this stuff. Hey. He was trying to get to the stick that was in there. That's what he was doing. Oh, he ruined that one. It's all right. Well, it's only one out of the five, so. Yeah. This was our bad. I know, I just kind of... Well, it was a last minute thing. We yeah, were, and... We didn't plan on having... Well, we were kind of thinking about where to put him, and then I was like, well, we can always throw him in the garden area if you want. And, um, I don't have anything growing out here. Yes, they dig. once again, they're digging up my garden beds like they did, and I just fixed all that. Hey, but you know what? They're just, uh... <laughs> They're, t they're tilling up the dirt for you. True. They're digging those leaves right Okay, down. you are getting me filthy. <laughs> Beast. Beast. They just can't help themselves. <laughs> oh, you're taking everything out. Huh? I said you're going to take everything out. No, I'm just... Setting it off. Yeah, the stuff they can easily chew. Because they're going to get bored. I know. Especially like ghosts and stuff. Because he's still, you know, a puppy. And he loves to chew on everything. <laughs> yeah. And 
I mean, speaking of chewing, he did chew up that snowman, or snowman, the uh, Santa Claus, our blow up Santa. And I seen a couple comments, people were like, you know, you can replace that cord and you reuse it. He actually chewed up the actual Santa Claus, like yeah. the blow up portion. There was holes and stuff in there. So there was no saving it. <laughs> Yeah, did you hear that, Ghost? Yeah, um, did you hear that? like we do have uh, the other two big ones that are up on the deck right now. Well, last year we had them out the front here. They were out front. And Mora actually chewed them up last year and she punctured a couple holes in one of them. I had to get duct tape and stuff and fix it, but it still works. Yeah. But yeah. We have it on the deck right now. Yeah, and you can see the duct tape on it holding it together, but. That one, um, that uh, Santa Claus, that new one that we got, like there was no saving it. Ghost, he just destroyed it. So. Yeah, I don't want him to chew up your stuff. I know. I don't want him to chew up my stuff. And this step is only going to be temporary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, until, we're just. Uh, until we can build something. Yeah, which. Um, I don't know when that's going to be. Oh, I mean, we're going to have to think about it soon. Yeah, well, I was saying, we kind of, yesterday we were discussing um, how and kind of what. Still kind of open about the area of where it's going to go, but coming soon. I know that's going to happen. <laughs> it's just when, I don't know. Yeah. I definitely don't want to chewing up all my stuff I know, in that's there. why I'm taking your pretty stuff out. Because ghost... He will, too. Gina. This will be chewed. Of course, Lillian, she's inside crying. Well, that's okay. She's in her in her cage right now. Yeah. Just for right now. Just for right now, because I am going to head to town. <laughs> Here, very soon. So, And I don't really want to take Lillian today. No. To town, because she's going to be sitting in the car for a while while I'm in the store, and I feel bad. She'll be all right. Right, Mora? She's like, all I want is my breakfast. Yeah, that's what she's really yelling Where at you about. Where is my breakfast? You took those bowls, I see. Why aren't they filled up with food yet? You're not back? I'll be right back. Let me go food. <laughs> I'll be right back. Yep, so we'll get that taken care of here <laughs> soon. So they have a nice place to go. We were just talking about, you know... Um, hey. Maybe we'll build like a little dog house and stuff for him. I mean, this is things we've been meaning and talking about doing for a while now, but I just, I guess we weren't really like seeing the need to do it right away. Um, it was just kind of one of those things. Oh, well, eventually it would be really nice to have a dog run area to put the dogs in, especially like if we were to leave for the weekend, could put the dogs in there, fill up their food thing. I know, Lily, uh, Lily. <laughs> I know, Nora. See, she's talking to us. She can hear the food. Um, so hopefully, now we'll get it done and they'll have a good place to go. That way, like if we do go camping or we're going someplace, you know, they have a place to go. Right, Mora? She's very vocal too. Yeah. yeah. She's knows. She's like, I'm ready for that food. That's what I'm waiting for. But yeah, I'm gonna go to town today, uh, this morning, get some, <laughs> mainly groceries, cause I haven't really gone shopping since Thanksgiving, like for that, I've bought, we've gotten like Christmas stuff and everything, but no, um, no real groceries. <laughs> We're almost out of creamer and sugar and all that good stuff. Can't, and you can't go through life with no coffee. At least that's what I think. <laughs> so we need to get some of that stuff, right, Mora? Oh, and cat food. We're out of cat food, too. Janie, you want some food? She does. Look at her. Come on. You know who else wants food? Oh, I know who wants food. <laughs> Go ahead, Jana. Come on, Jana. Uh. Go. Oh, wait, you get fed over here, guys. This one's go. He's like, I don't care where I get fed. I just want to eat. <laughs> Mora. Jana. Right here, Jana. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that's yours. <laughs> I think they like that new food. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. I think Lillian likes it, too. It's smaller for, you know. 
Yeah, Lillian. especially Lillian. Yeah. Um, yeah, we bought the dogs a different type of food. Um, we have a local uh, feed store here in town where, this, where we get all our rabbit feed and our chicken feed. Well, they sell dog and cat food as well. So yeah. we got a bag just to try it out. And obviously it's like you get more for your money <laughs> buying it through the feed store. Oh yeah, you get a 50 pound bag for the same price as like the super cheap stuff in Walmart. That's for, uh, 40, 40 pounds. pounds, yeah. And it's like it's like a dollar more, yeah. I think, or three dollars more or something. It's way it's bang for your buck, you know. Yeah, yeah. You just but you get ten pounds more, so it's worth it. And the dogs like it. Yeah. It's it's high in protein. It's meant for um, like the like hunting dogs. Oh, okay. Here is what the guy said. Yeah. For like the beagles and whatever, right? Town dogs. Yeah. So yeah. They need a lot of protein, so this is high in protein, so it's good for them. Yeah. Well, they do seem to like it, and like you said. Uh, Lillian likes it because it's a lot s smaller pieces. Uh, yeah, because the other ones, she has to like bite them in half. Yeah, she breaks them up. To eat them. And so this, I don't think she does that anymore. No, nah, she eats it. Yeah. Um, Lillian definitely does not eat as much as these big dogs. but No, she gets like one cup every two days. We put a cup in there and she just snacks. It takes her like two days to eat a, yeah, a she cup. Yeah, she grazes. <laughs> unless the cats get to it. Well, then she's guarding the bowl. Yeah, she's very protective of her food bowl. Um, but sometimes, like, we'll be inside and the cats will be in there. And then, like, we'll all leave and the cats are in there by themselves. And then you'll come in and the, her food's gone. And she goes over there and she's like, oh, where's all my food? Where'd my food go? And then, you know, of course I, oh, poor Lily. <laughs> Didn't even really get to finish your bowl. I know. Before those cats came in here. It's true. <laughs> and Jaina's the slow eater. <clears throat> More but, and ghosts are done. But we'll probably end up building them a, a fenced-in area in the back. Yeah. Somewhere I really don't want them in your garden too, too long. Because no. eventually they will start messing things up. They'll chew, you know, on the wood. They'll yeah. dig everywhere. And I don't want that. But for now, like I said, this is a solution. Yeah. A quick fix for now. Um, they can't get out. No. That's and the biggest thing. I mean, like I said, I don't want them... You know, there's logging trucks, there's semis and stuff that go on these roads over here. And on the road where Mount Isenum is a road that they use. So, and it's hunting season. Yeah. You know, so I think it's just a safe bet to keep them in here until we can build up. Yeah. Which we will soon. Ghost. Like I said, they'll be all right for right now. Um, ghost, that's Jana's food. They, they do enjoy it out here. I've seen them all loafing around. Oh, they have a great time. And then more and ghosts. I've seen them running around and playing with each other and having a good time. Hey, all I gotta say is, you know what? This is right here is more space than a lot of people's dogs have. It's true. Like straight up. Yeah, yeah. So there's people that have dogs, and all they have, they live in an apartment, and all they got is a little tiny patio. Yeah. Well, I was just gonna say, I some of this area I think is just about as big as we've had in some of our houses there in in uh, oh, yeah. Vegas. Yeah. Just this little fenced area right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, they'll be all right. They'll be all right. And like Anthony said, we do not leave them out here all day and all night. The weather's been nice. Hasn't been too terribly cold or too terribly hot. Well, they're in here during the day. Yeah. If it's raining, which it hasn't rained yet, but if it's raining, they're not gonna be out here. They have a kennel on the deck that they'll go to. Yeah. Um, and at nighttime when it's really cold, we bring them inside. Yeah. Just like last year. I mean, during that Arctic blast, not a single animal was outside. No, we had all the cats, all the dogs. They were all in the house. Yeah, well, the cats, those, all we had was a small little cage mm, yeah. for the cats. And there was literally like nine cats in this cage. But they didn't care. They were just all, ah, yeah. snugged up next to each other, loving life, licking each other. You know, they were having a great, great time. Yeah, staying toasty warm. Yep, and these three dogs... I know they're big, believe it or not, they all fit in the kennel with space to lay down, mm -hmm. all three of them, and they snuggle and have a great time and get all warm and stuff at night. So it works out good. Yeah. But we can't keep them outside if it's like, you know, 10 degrees or nothing. We can't no, do that. No, definitely not like that Arctic blast no. that we had. Like we... Um, They'll be inside. Yeah. And we didn't have ghosts at the time. We just had, we had tank at that time. Yeah, and he, yeah, they were all in the, in the Yeah, they yeah. were all in the cage. Tank was different. I mean, he was in and out all the time. <clears throat> kind of like how Lillian is, you know. Oh, Tank. 
I can't believe it. It's been like almost a year, I think, since he's passed away. Has it been that long? Yeah, almost a year. We're coming up on a year. I think it was... You replaced Tank with Lillian. Yeah, I got Lillian now. Got Lillian. Yeah. As your little carry-around dog. Yeah, my, my toy dog. <laughs> you know, there's nothing left. Everybody. But, gotta love Lillian. She's so sweet. Yep. All so the anyway, <laughs> yeah, we got things to do today, guys. Yes, I need to get my butt into town. Yep, it's a hour round trip at least. Yeah, and I'm gonna be there for a minute <laughs> shopping, and then um, I got things to do when I get home. So yeah, we got stuff to do today. Yeah, I gotta take care of my manage my time wisely today. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> That's right, manage it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so stay safe, guys. Hope you hopefully you guys are all having a great day, great Wednesday, yeah, hump day, right, yeah. middle of the week. Um. Yeah, stay safe. Stay motivated, guys. Yeah, 19 days till Christmas. Can you believe it? Already. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great day, guys. We'll catch you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.